Hi, we're back again today and we're cooking from my pantry. Today I'm talking about some great things that you can make with beans and we're going to start off with a wonderful snack made with garbanzo beans. Um, so these are garbanzo beans that I got at Trader Joe's because that's what's in my pantry. Um, you might also know them as chickpeas. But they are a delicious and very versatile bean and they are actually the bean that's most commonly used to make hummus. Today we're going to make our own homemade snack that's quick and easy to make. First thing you want to do is you want to get your oven uh, heated up to 400 degrees and then I already opened up the garbanzo beans and I rinse them off over the sink in order to get rid of some of that sodium that's there. Um, this can actually only had 130 milligrams per serving so it's on the lower side for a can of beans but we might as well wash some of that away because we're going to be adding a little bit of seasoning of our own. So we'll start off with a much lower amount of sodium to start with. Okay, in order to make these uh, roasted chickpeas delicious, we want them to get crisp in the oven. So we're gonna have to dry them off, okay? So I told you I rinsed them. So you can do this with paper towels or I'm just gonna use a clean kitchen towel. And we're just gonna pat them dry, get them as dry as we can before we go to roast them. They'll get a much better crisp to them if we do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat them dry like so. You can see they actually have a good bit of water on them. And then I have a uh, baking sheet. This is actually a rimmed baking sheet that I'm using here because I don't want the chickpeas to roll away. But you could just use a regular baking sheet as well. I lined it with some parchment paper already. And then we're gonna pick up the beans that I have on my towel and that guy that ran away. And we're gonna put them right here on the parchment paper. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some olive oil and of course, olive oil is wonderful for heart health because it has your nice monounsaturated fats. And I'm really just gonna drizzle, I'm not gonna put a lot. I'm just gonna drizzle the olive oil on the beans. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and mix it around a little bit with my hands to make sure that they all get a little bit of olive oil on them. And then the recipe says to add some salt and I'm just going to go ahead and add it's a little bit slippery here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add about a half teaspoon of salt and that will provide you just under 1200 milligrams of sodium, but that is in the entire recipe. So I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to do a little bit less than that. And actually, I'm going to use it all. I'm going to use about half of this, maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of make sure it's all mixed around. Yeah, that's plenty. A, a quarter teaspoon is actually plenty here for these chickpeas, garbanzo beans. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop them in the oven and then we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes and we're gonna come back at the end of that 20 minutes and add some seasoning to them and then we're gonna give them a taste. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we're back. And these took, um, they were 20 minutes in the oven and I gave a peek and I felt like they could go just a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure that they were crisp. I actually took one out and kind of just felt it. Um, so I added, I think three more minutes and now they look like a nice color. Um, they have a little bit of a golden, you, know, you can tell that they've been toasted, a little bit of a golden color to them and I think they're gonna be really tasty. So I'm just gonna pull them over here and then I have a bowl here because now I'm gonna add some spices. You can really do whatever you want. Um, you might have seen these in the store. Uh, they have chickpeas, you know, in little snack bags. The beauty about this is one, you can use your pantry staples. Two, you can control exactly what is in the food. Like I said, we rinsed away some of the sodium um, in the original can. And then I was gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, decided I probably only needed a quarter teaspoon. So that's about 590 milligrams of sodium in the entire recipe. I probably could have added less, but you can snack on them as they are, which is salt. Um, and they definitely sell those in the store. They have some with like barbecue seasoning too. Um, I suspect those are quite high in sodium. A lot of the barbecue products do have a lot of, a lot of salt added too. Um, but I pulled out some other spices that I was just gonna suggest um, you could definitely do like a garlic powder mixed with your Italian seasoning. That might have a really nice flavor. 
Uh, you could just do curry powder for more of an Indian flair. Uh, you could do paprika for a little bit of kick. I'm thinking I want to do kind of Mexican, so I'm going to do some cumin. And these don't have any salt. These are just like the dried spices. So I'm going to put a little bit of cumin on here, and then I'm going to put some chili powder. And because I don't want to stain my hands, I'm not going to use my hand. I'm going to grab some. Um, and I'm just going to mix it up. And this is something you do while it's still warm and the spices will adhere to the chickpeas a lot better that way. So definitely can do more than one can at a time, but this is one can of the chickpea and you can, you can see they're kind of crispy on the outside. They have a lot of nice seasoning and now I'm gonna taste one. <laughs> they're really good. Um, and they're not too hot, they're not like burning my mouth off. Since all, um, since all ovens vary just a little bit, uh, I would check them at 20 minutes and you might have to add five or even 10 minutes uh, just to see if they're your, to your de desired degree of doneness. These will keep, they'll be best the first day, but they'll keep for about two days in a sealed container. So try this out as a snack and uh, we'll come back another time and talk about something else great we can make with beans while we're cooking for my pantry. Thank you.